Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you add an adjustment layer or a fill layer to an image, note that the layers are added along with a linked layer mask. The layer mask appears to the right of the fill or adjustment layer within the layers panel. A chain link icon appears between the layer and the layer mask to let you know that they are linked together. A layer mask determines where the content within the linked layer should appear. A layer mask acts in much the same way a clipping group works by forcing the content of the linked layer into the selected area within the layer mask. Photoshop Elements lets you add and delete layer masks to and from selected layers to choose where the effects or elements within the associated layer appear. Layer masks restrict a linked layer to only displaying in areas selected before the layer mask is applied. Therefore, when applying a fill layer or an adjustment layer to an image, the easiest way to choose where the fill effect or adjustment effect is applied is to select the area to which you want to apply the fill effect or adjustment before creating the fill layer or adjustment layer. However, you can also edit the layer mask after it is applied to change the area of application for the linked layer. To select the area to which a fill layer or adjustment layer will be applied, use the selection tools to select the desired area within the image. Then select the desired fill layer or adjustment layer to apply while the selection is active. The fill layer or adjustment layer will then only be applied to the selected area in a layer mask. If you examine the linked layer mask for the fill or adjustment layer, you can see the area within which the linked layer effect is shown appears white. Areas where the linked effect is not shown appear black. You can use your painting tools to edit the layer mask to change the areas of effect. To edit a layer mask using the painting tools, select your desired painting tool, like the brush tool in the toolbox. Then decide which color to use for the brush. If you select white, you will paint the areas where you want the linked layer's effect to appear. If you select black, you will paint the areas where you do not want the linked layer's effect to appear. After choosing your desired color, Click the layer mask that you want to paint within the Layers panel to select it. Then click and drag with your painting tool to add or remove areas of effect within the layer mask. You can also use the ability to make selections as well as add and remove layer masks to change the layer masks. This can be useful for adding shapes to an existing layer mask, for example. First, create the selections to add to the existing layer mask. For example, you could use the Custom Shape tool to add an easily selectable shape within a new layer. And then use the Magic Wand tool to select the shape in the new layer. Then delete the layer that contains the shape from the image. With the new selection you made active on screen, right-click the existing layer mask in the Layers panel, and then choose the Add Mask to Selection command to add the content in the existing layer mask to your existing selection. At that point, you should have the new areas to which you want to apply a new layer mask selected within the image. Once you have the areas to which you want to apply a new layer mask selected, you must simply delete the existing layer mask and then apply a new layer mask. To do this, select the Layer Mask thumbnail to delete in the Layers panel. Then select Layer, Layer Mask, Delete from the menu bar to delete the layer mask. To then apply a new layer mask which will only appear within the currently selected areas on screen, click the Add Layer Mask button in the toolbar at the top of the Layers panel. You can repeat this process as needed to edit layer masks by using the selection tools. You can also disable layer masks to hide their display. To do this, select the layer mask to disable, and then choose Layer, Layer Mask, Disable from the menu bar. To enable its display again, choose Layer, Layer Mask, Enable from the menu bar. Alternatively, hold down the Shift key and click a layer mask within the Layers panel to both enable and disable a layer mask. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.